In this video, I take the 20 minute episodes of my Kirby in the Forgotten Land playthrough and trim them down even more to show you the location of each Waddledee, each level's achievements, and by extension, tricks to take down the bosses. This will run alongside the playthrough, so let me know which style of gameplay you prefer to see from me, and subscribe for more guides like this. Keep your hands and arms inside at all times. It's hard to miss this first tulip on the stump. Hit this switch and follow the alcove to find the next tulip. Use Kirby Vending Machine to destroy the building's shutter. In the next area, you can find the third tulip in this wooden pot in the corner. Become Kirby Cone and break this pipe. Ride the water to the balcony. Defeat the mini boss and free the Waddle Dee. You can't progress otherwise. The next Waddle Dee is stuck in the water tower in the third area. The third and last Waddle Dee has been consumed by this tortilla. Use Kirby Cone to kill it and free the Waddle Dee. He might need a bath. Behind this nearby tree is the fourth tulip. The last tulip is behind this bowl. Defeat the tortilla at the end to clear the stage. Before you enter the tunnel, grab the fire ability and light this lantern to the right. Unhinge the water tower and hit the switch. You'll find the secret room and a waddle dee. Go through the door and light the lantern to the left. The third lantern is near this cage. No waddle dee in the cage, there's the gotcha. The last lantern is on this chunk surrounded by gordos. Don't go in the door just yet. Climb to the top and hit the bomb block to free the next waddle dee. Jelly donut for the road? Into the door. Light the fuse and blast yourself out of the cannon. The waddle dee is at the end of the pipe. Use the stairs to reach and take down the water poster. Then put the stairs here so that it doesn't cover the fuse. This cannon will take you to the last waddle dee. Clear the stage. Eat the bread on this stump. Then the banana on this stump further ahead. Use Ranger to shoot this target and uncover a waddle dee. While playing the boulder minigame from Mario Party 3, hug the right side to find the side road. Shoot the target over the abyss to unlock a secret door. Shoot the targets before they sink to unlock the next Waddle Dee. Back on the main path, you'll find an empty stump with glitter next to it. Touch the glitter to spawn some milk. That's the last stump snack. Outrun the giant boulder and hit the switch. The Waddle Dee appears on the bench. How did you... how did you... manage that? Where did you come from? Were you inside the bench? How did you do how? During the Kirby car segment, don't fall off the road. Drive safely. Follow the road and crash into this building where the last Waddle Dee is. Drive to the end and clear the stage. Hidden behind these boxes is a table with a donut on it. Eat it. Then eat the invincible candy and hit the bomb block. We'll summon away to the top level where a Waddle Dee sits in the bottom right. One achievement is to not get lost. Go down the route with the burger sign. You'll be rewarded with the correct path and the waddle dee. At this set of conveyor belts, there is a switch behind the burning logs. Hitting it unleashes the next waddle dee. The bottom corner has some glitter. Hit it to reveal a trail of money and the second donut. The next correct path is the top left one with the cake, across from the ice cream. Once again, this path gives you a waddle dee. The left tables have glitter, and touching it spawns the third donut. Bring the wall down and be rewarded with the achievement for not getting lost. Climb the ladder to find the last donut. Drop down and clear the stage. Before the boss fight, pick up the sword ability, as being Goromondo with it grants an achievement. You don't have to use the sword the whole fight, but the last hit needs to be with it. Another achievement is to go between his legs. Be careful as you do this. The other achievements are to beat him in under 2 minutes and to not get hurt. I find it best to use the star spit attack as regular Kirby, as they do more damage than the sword and can be used far away. Be quick and careful, and clear the stage. The treasure roads for this world include Cutter, Bomb, Cone Mouth, Bending Mouth, Fire, Ranger, and Ice. They are all mostly straightforward. <laughs> 